hide to Chaco. Especially when I cast these cups. Usually, if this was Jarrah Cup, for example, no chance for Foggy. But for some reason, if we're not casting Jarrah Cup, if it's a different cup, Happy's win rate does, you know, go down a little bit. He, like Jarrah Cup, Happy wins 100%. Only sometimes he loses to focus. But outside of Jarrah Cup, Happy only wins like 70 to 80% of the cups that he joins. Not 100%. We have a Death Knight here with ghouls. Uh, there's an Acolyte over here scouting the base next to him. But this is not close position. Of course we see Demon Hunter this game for Foggy. No Warden. I guess this map is just uh, not a Warden map. We some, see some Wisps here in the trees. This Wisp is scouting close position. Usually, uh, Happy usually underperforms the PG Cups. I noticed. Yeah, exactly. Like PG Cups. PG Fun Cups. What else is there? Other small cups. <laughs> it is war here with the archer here going for the giant sea turtle. Giant sea turtle is going down slowly. You know the archer is using her uh, arrows to kill it, but the demon hunter is he? There he is. There's the demon hunter, just in time, just to, in time to get the XP, of course. Foggy knows how to do this. He has crapped this creep camp over. 10,000 times, I guess. I'm not sure if he crept this 100,000 of times. It's hard to judge, hard to get, uh, estimate. Oh, look at my 52 uh, milliseconds ping. One of the highest here in this entire game. Happy at 3 seconds. And where's Foggy? Foggy 29, Wolf at 23, Sonic 21. Nice ping for all the uh, observers. Claws of attack there by the Demon Hunter. He does more damage now. Meanwhile, Happy has the aura first. He's going to creep. He's creeping. You know, he's going to get level two, just like the demon hunter. Only seventy percent. What a loser! <laughs> yeah. Well, demon hunter. Uh, death and there. Coil's a, a ghoul. does have the two best items there. Two mantle of intelligences. Exactly what you want. This lich is going to be so powerful. This plus six damage already on that lich. And extra mana as well. You might even uh, keep it on the death knight for extra mana. The demon hunter with the extra mana. Not that relevant. Claws is also kind of... Nah. You kind of want those uh, circlets definitely. This ring of protection though. Pre pretty shitty item there. So after getting twice the best item. Now he gets the worst one. The demon hunter. But is he buying? Is he buying something nice? Something beautiful. Boots of speed, of course, is beautiful. Mana burns are, are going to be nice, but... You know, the Death Knight with the ghouls, with the skeletons. Don't want to be mana burned. At least the Death Knight doesn't want to be. So they're going somewhere safe. Somewhere where the Demon Hunter cannot reach them. To the base. Okay. Graveyard is going up. Skeleton is standing there, making sure that uh, Foggy doesn't just start creeping this. Imagine if Foggy just crept this and the skeleton wouldn't be there. Nothing Happy could have done about it. But this Demon Hunter, he's not a creeping Demon Hunter, he's a hunting Demon Hunter. He hunts down Death Knights and, and well, he finds him. Mana burn for 50. The ghouls surrounded him, kind of, almost surrounded the Demon Hunter, but they didn't. Not that it matters, I don't think he could have killed a Demon Hunter. With uh, four archers there. He could have uh, probably killed a ghoul or two before the demon hunter was close to dying. And then uh, after killing like two ghouls. He's completely free to get wherever he wants. He's no longer surrounded. Now he's uh, hunting down more ghouls. Great. Is he going for the item? And what item is he going to get? No, he's not going for the item. He leaves one archer here as a scout. And he is, since he doesn't see happy here. I guess he just assumes Happy is going this way. I mean, Happy is not just staying in his base, right? Right? No one no one would assume Happy to just stay in his base and do nothing. Not at this point in the game, at least. Later in the game, sure, he does do that. But early game, Happy tries to get an XP. Team Hunter finds the Death Knight. Mana burn for 50. These mana burns aren't even that super relevant. Because the Death Knight is close to max mana. Uh, and he has two mantles of intelligences, so he has 24 IQ. 
His mana regeneration is much higher than the Demon Hunter, who only has 18 IQ. Meanwhile, the panda is creeping over there. This uh, Death Knight goes for a wisp because detonated in the face. He almost surrounds the Demon Hunter, but the Demon Hunter with the boots of speed, of course, way too fast for the ghouls. He almost surrounded that Demon Hunter. Meanwhile, the panda just killing some creeps. Ring of Protection. I do believe you keep it. Some skeletons here comes a creep check of happy he picks up a tome of IQ. Now the panda is also pretty smart. 20 IQ. This acolyte is standing over there. This archer. Can he kill the archer? Archer is about to die, guys. Ah the demon hunter hunting a ghoul. Meanwhile, the panda is killing skeletons and acolytes. Can he kill this acolyte? He kills the acolyte, he levels up. One archer died there. Demon hunter hunting down a ghoul. There's a nice mana burn for 50. The death now out of mana. I don't think uh, he can get this ghoul. No, he cannot get the ghoul with the Death Knight blocking the Demon Hunter even. Oh, the ghoul stop running. Of course, uh, not a nice mana burn, as you guys would expect. The panda with two archers. Can he creep this? Where's the... No, he's, he's going... What is he doing here? Okay, he's first gonna creep that. Makes a lot of sense, of course. He's getting Dryads, and then with the Dryads, he can creep this with the Ancient of War as well. But he might need the Demon Hunter there. Just a panda. that's gonna take some... Okay, he's going for it right now with the Demon Hunter there. It is possible, of course. Goo -goo -goo. Rah, 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 rah. Meanwhile, Happy is going for... What is he going for? He almost dies to Turtles. He will have one Fiend. This creep guy, this Overlord is still alive. Happy does have a sacrificial pit, makes a lot of sense. Because he's going for uh, false worm timing, of course. That's uh that's always been kind of Foggy's weakness. Demon Hunter kills the ogre. Oh the, the ogre killed the archer. Legion Doomhorn here for Foggy, which means he uh, moves a bit faster. It's a pretty good item. It's a really good item. Not the best, of course, but it's one of the better ones. Meanwhile, over here we have uh, Ring of Protection. Not really what Happy wants. Happy just wants DPS on his Lich. Not, uh, yeah, he sells a ring of protection. Well, fuck, he keeps his ring of protection. Kind of counterintuitive. Normally you think like, oh, he has a demon hunter. He wants, he wants the uh, DPS items. And uh, Death Knight wants the, the hit point items. But that's uh, not the case. These units are dying. Demon Hunter got her rejuvenation. We have bears, dead bears. Two bears. What is this? Ancient of Wonders. Is he going for an expansion? Not yet. It's not really expansion time yet. Okay, he gets level 3. Let's see if we can do some mana burn on her ass right now before the Phosphor pops out. This is important. I uh, always, when I cast lives games, I always mention this. How good his uh, Demon Hunter harass is. I feel like uh, life usually starts harassing earlier though. Now, I mean, the Death Knight does have mana, even. <laughs> this has some mana. The cloak of uh, Flames. Nah, it's kind of meh, right? Kind of meh. Oh, Rune of Healing, of course, always drops. He does go for the expansion over here instead of over here. Interesting choice. Uh, the Shade sees it. Of course, the uh, corner expansion has less gold in it, but that's... Probably never really something to think about. Especially not for Night Elf, since you can just uproot your tree anyway. Go for the next expansion. He tried to Nova surround the Demon Hunter, but uh, didn't, didn't get us around. Okay, here comes the Panda and the Demon Hunter. Phosphorum isn't out yet. So happy we'll have the TP. He doesn't even have the orb. Oh, he does have the orb. Does he have backpack? Okay, his backpack. Backpack. Probably someone bought the orb for the Lich. And there's a TP out. He's back home. Here come the ghouls. Cancelling this expansion. That's so nice here. Do we have a staff here for any of these heroes? Yes, but he just used the staff. So he cannot defend this. Or can he? Can he be back in time? He's definitely going to kill a ghoul or two. But this is going to save his tree of life. I'm not sure. Like, I think he is. Yeah. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, guys. There's a wisp here. Defending. I mean, blocking. Uh, this one ghoul is definitely dead. The second ghoul, though, is also dead, right? This game is going so well for Foggy, guys. I feel like... 
We do have a false armor now. Where is it? There it is. Actually, happy. Is the overlay working correctly? Happy at 49. Foggy at 40. Yes, it is working correctly. Um, he is up in supply. This is his timing. But you, but why is this not his timing attack? Because he doesn't have the mana. 167 mana. And that's because of this, this little skirmish over here. He lost uh, some mana. Got mana burned. So instead of attacking right now, he's creeping and... We have hippos already here for Foggy. So soon he will have enough hippos to defend against his timing attack. While Happy is just creeping while regenerating mana using a Nova even on the turtle. I mean, there's a mana burn right in the face of the Death Knight. Scroll of the Beast picked up. Death Knight is out of mana. This is mana for one Nova. Uh, does he have web even? I'm not sure. There's a Nova, but a uh, mana burn for eight only. But the Nova didn't do much either. So uh, TP out here by Happy and, you know. At this point, what does the Happy do? Timing attack is not gonna work. He's out of mana. He has one Frost Worm. Uh, he's building a second one, but we have already plenty of hippos. I think it's time pretty soon to... B oh, he already has the second Ancient Wind. I was about to say it's time for a second Ancient Wind, but he already has it up. Uh, this Entangled Goldmine is, is up here. I think this, you know, it's already GG. Oh, don't call it too early, Chaco. You're a professional caster. You are not one of these unprofessional, unprofessional casters that just calls GG before the game is over. Hello. It's 58 supply against 54. Happy has a supply advantage. He doesn't have a third hero. He doesn't have mana on his heroes. But still, he has a supply advantage. Uh, against hippos, though, it doesn't matter too much. One of uh, He does have web. Two of them do get webbed. But three hippos still in the air. Four hippos still in the air. These phosphorus, I mean, you know, they're trying to kill the bears. I mean, they do kill one of the bear. There goes the destroyer. The Fosmer is still alive. But for how much longer are they still alive? Look, oh, so many hippos. There's no fiends or anything in the base. I think these hippos are, can just uh, kill the Fosmerms even if they're hiding in the base. Of course, all the bears did go down. So maybe uh, Foggy should get out of this fight over here. Well, the hippos killed the Fosmerms. One Fosmerm down. The second Fosmerm. Does he know where it is? Oh, he, may, it, it does, he does see it. Okay, of course he has ultra vision. He goes for the false room. That false room is going to die. Now he just needs to make sure he has some more bears. He's building one bear. He needs more bears. Hello. Okay, he's building another bear. Can Happy kill this expansion here with two fiends and a ghoul? I, I doubt it, but he's going to try. His death knight has mana for one coil. His list has mana for one nova. Demon of course, back with full hit points. Panda, of course, level four full hit points for mana as well. There's a mana burn. There's a... Nova first though, and there's the Tinker. Of course, Happy won't build a single more uh, air unit because of all these hippos. There's a, a nice breath of fire. Oh, this uh, this Lich in trouble. He has an invul potion though, but um, he doesn't want to use it because what is he gonna do after those seven seconds? He, can he get rid of this demon hunter in seven seconds? Uh, I can, he kind of does. He, he kind of can. Uh, but this panda, he has mana for one more breath of fire. This fiend is micro beautifully. Oh, there's a rejuvenate on this uh, demon hunter. And nothing he can do about it. Because he cannot form a destroyer. There's a nova on the demon hunter. Just making sure he doesn't lose stuff to the demon hunter. Mana burn on the statue. He's going down. Maybe. Maybe not, actually. The movement speed is nice. But that uh, level 2 in holy aura. Of course, we have level 1 in holy aura here. But he has it on the demon hunter, not on the panda. I feel like on the panda... No, I mean... Sh okay, whatever. Kills one statue. He's going for, you know, this fiend. You know, gets away. What's happening over here? It was a bear in the base. What? Uh, nice mana burn on this. Nice breath of fire. Kills another uh, fiend. Happy. I mean, he's 20 supply behind, but he, his heroes are still alive, guys. If he can just get a hero kill or two, maybe he can do something. His lich might come back. My hippo got the web. What's happy building? Obviously, he unsummoned the boneyard. Going for more fiends. He's going for statues. Statues, fiends, just mass ground army. This is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hippos. The 16 supply for Foggy that does nothing. So actually, the supplies are kind of even. And there's a, a frost armor on the the tinker. I mean, it's not like it does nothing, right? It's not like it does absolutely nothing. This is 16 supply here for Foggy that makes sure that that Happy will never build a frost worm. That he will never build a destroyer again. So thanks to these hippos. He can get rejuvenation. And uh, his bears are super strong. It's, it's not it's not fair to say. He has 16 supply than he actually has. This fiend here is my cut here to the right. This fiend is going to die. Yeah he dies. 
Bears, of course, super powerful if there are no air units. Maybe you should go Banshees. Could it go Banshees this late? No, it's probably too late now. The uh, Death Knight is super low on hit points. Statues might cut back. The statue is, uh, it might die the penalty is out. But the Demon Hunter, oh, Demon Hunter dies to the Nova. Happy back in this game. Killing the Demon Hunter was huge. You know, and that's why you don't call the game over. Premature, prematurely, guys. That's why I'm a professional caster. Okay, wow. He's getting more fiends. He's getting a ghoul because he's out of wood. He probably used his ghouls in combat and lost them. Demon Hunter back with rejuvenation. I mean, to be honest, Happy is still very far behind. You know, this. Is, but if you can kill another Demon Hunter, maybe another, maybe a panda somewhere. Maybe, uh, you know, do some other beautiful things. There's a Haze Breath of Fire. Pocket Factory, of course, down immediately. I think these Pocket fa uh, Factory placements could improve a little bit. Have you could improve on those. Uh, his heroes are so low on hit points. There's another Breath of Fire. This Fiend, I mean, he doesn't want to die. He takes a coil, but the Lich. Frost Armor on the Lich. Is that enough to save him? He does have more coils. Is he going to use on the Lich? He uses one on the Lich, so the Fiend is probably uh, going to die down. The Demon Hunter is still right-clicking the Lich. Coil on the Fiend. The statue went down there for Happy. His bears, uh, beautiful. One Dwight went down there. His Lich in trouble. He, he has more coils. Make sure he's not in range of the, the Demon Hunter of the Mana Burn. How much gold is left? 2k gold in the main. A bit over 2k gold. And Happy just, you know... He's, he's not dying. He's not dying. He's not winning, but he's not dying. He's gonna creep to level 5 Demon uh, Death Knight now. Of course, uh, Foggy has his Wisp here. He knows no expansion is going up the shade. Sees what's happening, but there's no Panda here, so... I'm not sure if... Uh, Foggy can go for the creep jack here. There's level 5 Death... Oh, he's not level 5 yet. This turtle is still alive. Oh, he's waiting for his Panda. It's too risky to go without Panda. Now the Death Knight. Oh, he's still on level 5. He needs 10 more XP. Has a mana potion. No TP here for uh, Happy, but this is a nice choke, of course. And there, the Pocket Factory now is beautifully placed, by the way. There's a coil on the bear. This first bear is staffed out. No Death Knight level 5. And a mana burn. 91. Uh, the Fiends here. This choke is working against him. He, he needs to move the statue, and that's what he does. This uh, Tinker here took a lot of damage in the back now. Lays down another Pocket Factory, but this... He, he stops on Fiend from, you know, retreating. So that Fiend died, the other Fiend died as well. So do that Fiend, this Fiend is also dead. Happy just lost three Fiends, something we've never seen Happy do. And um, there's a Haze Breath of Fire. The Death Knight still didn't get a 10 XP. He didn't kill a single unit in this fight so far. This Fiend is going to die and this Tinker might die as well. Can he get a Tinker actually? He does have mana. Okay, there it is, GG. Okay, so uh, Happy of course going for a Crypt, going for an Altar. Go for more acolytes. What do we have here? An ancient of war. We have an altar. We have uh, wisps going into the gold mine. How much winner get money? Uh, he gets about fifty dollars. Okay, so at the top right we have foggy, of course. At the bottom left we have happy. Do we see a warden on this map? He did just win with the Demon Hunter, so maybe he's like in a Demon Hunter mood. I do believe this is a Warden map. Sonic went Warden on this map. But we do see the Demon Hunter here. Indeed here for Foggy. So, that's nice. He won last game with Demon Hunter. And he's gonna win again with Demon Hunter. Or he's trying to win again at least. There's an Archer as well. What a beautiful game we have here on our hands. There's another Moonwell. Great. Here we have... Uh, Two more relics, ghouls, death knight. Team Hunter's gonna be born in a moment. Ancient of War Abroots is gonna try to eat a tree, maybe. Is he going to eat a tree? No, it's not. Is he, it, did he eat a tree already? No, right? Okay, I guess this tree was just a bit farther away than I thought he was. He finally eats the tree. And the archer is just taking care of this ogre. Here comes the demon hunter and he's gonna kill that guy in one hit. Circlet, best item. Best item there by far. Death Knight kills a little sheep. 
And is he going for the same one? No. Oh, the wisp. Be careful. Look at Foggy. Just he knows exactly when this wisp needs to show up. Maybe against a lesser and dead player, he can just show up, detonate on those uh, skeletons and the death knight. Claws of attack. It's probably the best item for undead. I'm not sure if it's uh, better than the circlet. This trapper does go down. Demon hunter. Mana burn on this first all high priest. Demon hunter and the, what's the archer attacking? The archer is going for the first all trapper. Uh, While well, the demon hunter is going for the first all high priest. So this is a uh, this is on purpose. I feel it's on purpose. It's so this guy heals the trapper instead of himself. So his healing is less effective. Anyway, that's nice. Uh, I think I noticed that before once, but it is really nice. Really nice by Foggy to optimize the creeping there. Uh, this Murloc here is going down. Death Knight is level 2, by the way. He got a uh, Mantle of Intelligence as well. So nice here for the uh, Lich here in a moment. Death Knight, by the way, he, uh, Demon Hunter did get a Replenishment Potion, which is uh, not useless. It's still not as good as uh, Sentry Wards, but... Um, early game, of course, Night Elf always, you know, has limited healing with their moon wells. But if Undead doesn't play aggressive, I think they usually have enough moon wells until they get bare. So yeah, he sells it. And Happy, Happy is not an aggressive player, like Lucifer, for example. Lucifer often just attacks base with some ghouls. And then you might need all the moon juice. Or if you have a warden, you might need all the moon juice. But if you have a demon hunter, you don't. So he just sells the replenishment potion. And here come the ghouls. Five ghouls and a death knight. And uh, they'll see an archer. Demon Hunter does have the boots now, by the way. What else do we see here? This is a tree of life. Very early tree of life. He's building more archers. This Demon Hunter hunting down. Whatever. And the death knight kills a piggy. These five archers are beautiful. This archer, I mean, can he kill the archer? He has mana for coils. The coil, of course, does only, what is it, 80 damage? Yeah, 80 damage on the archer. Depends on the map. On Twisted Meadows, Happy seems to be non-stop aggressive versus Elf. Okay. Well, on this map... He doesn't, though. Is Demon Hunter hunting down his ghoul? There's a... There's this ghoul. Two ghouls there. And the third rock, he was also not playing aggressive. A Death Knight going for this level 5 ogre. This Tree of Life is on his way already. Happy never scouted the Tree of Life. If he could have cancelled it early... Would have been nice for Happy, but now this Tree of Life is probably going to go up uncontested. Definitely will find it. Oh, he does get another Clause of Attack. This Lich is going to be so strong and so powerful. He gives the Tree of Life a hug. But these creeps... Okay, they're going for the Tree of Life now. But, um, yeah, let's see if Happy can do something about this early expansion. Usually you can't. Usually undead players can't do anything about it. It's, it's a bit of a Slight, slight bit of a cheese usually because if they do scout early, they can cancel it early, and then Night of is ahead, uh, behind. But he didn't uh, scout it early enough. Oh, actually, we'll see. Let's see if he can do something about it. Here come the ghouls. We have the Naga second, of course, that makes a lot of sense with the early expansion. And uh, here come the ghouls. Although usually I'm not a big fan of the Naga, but uh, this ghoul, this archer is dead. This archer here is also dead. Two dead archers. And the Death Knight, he steals some mana here of... Uh, I mean, Demon Hunter steals some mana of the Death Knight. He's just going for the Tree of Life. Interesting. I'm not sure if that's worth it. This, tree, this Trapper is killing the Archer, by the way. Uh, this Ghoul here is dead. This Trapper now going for the Tree of Life as well. We're down to four Ghouls. Does he have Skeletons? No Skeletons! Um, the Tree of Life is eating trees, of course. I feel like he's not going to get... Well, actually, let me take that back. I feel like he is going to get it. The Wisps here are too late, I think. And just a second too late... Death Knight is level 3 now. One one more ghoul there. Goes down. He did lose a lot of ghouls, but he killed all the archers. I think that was definitely worth it for Happy. And uh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful game. He did get the Lich there. 
Giving him all the items. The Lich now does a lot of damage. Plus 15 damage. No orb yet. But uh, Mana Burn just level 1. Yeah, the heroes here for uh, Foggy are still a bit stronger. Until F Happy gets that orb. I mean... This doesn't do that much damage. There's another Fiend. Or there's the first Fiend, to be fair. A player's forces are under there's a statue. Okay, he's at tier 3, so he buys the orb, of course. Or wait. Wait, what? Uh, I guess he doesn't have the money. He's getting ghoul frenzy. Meanwhile, Foggy rebuilds that expansion. We see. Oh, wait a second. I should have checked this, of course. Chaco, you're such a noob commentator. I know, guys. I'm so unprofessional. We see Angel of Winds going for the dues of the talent. Adept training. Oh, he has the orb now. Does he have backpack? No. Okay, so uh, now the heroes are super strong for Happy. He sees Demon Hunter running, and Demon Hunter can't do shit anymore. Earlier he was uh, unkillable almost for these heroes for, of Happy. And now he just dies in like two hits. There's an Orb of Corruption for you guys. Ankh Ank is not great, he's gonna sell it for sure. It's such a... It's, I mean, it's just not the, item, not the item for Undead. This statue, I mean, these creeps want to kill the statue. It took so much damage from the creeps. Down to 177 hit points, he did sell the Ankh. Buys the info potion and uh, Tome of IQ plus 2. This Lich doing even more damage now. 44 to 50 damage plus uh, the orb's effect, of course. And this expansion is not up yet. And these guys are not master yet. I feel like maybe Happy should take his timing right now. If he knew. Does he know? No, if he knew that Foggy was over here, he could have taken the fight, but he didn't know. He was buying his Naga. Gave boots to the Naga, info potion to the Naga. And Master is going to be done here. I wonder if Foggy can win this fight with the Master upgrade on the Druids of Talon. Start off with the Mana Burn on the Death Knight and the Nova on the Demon Hunter. Uh, Wisps here dying, one dies. Second one is also dead. Uh, does it go down? Yes, it dies. Demon Hunter with another Mana Burn on the Lich. And, but for only for 28 because he gets Coil Nova. And the Lich didn't have more mana than 28. That Wisp goes down. Done. He's under siege. Another oh wow! Staff of 20 hit points. He was a bit too late. If he was a bit earlier, he could have dodged that coil and uh, used less moon juice. But of course, since he doesn't have uh, bears, he is limited on moon juice. Mana burn there. 400 on the death knight. That's a lot. That's he's out of mana now. I guess Happy wasn't paying attention. I'm not sure if he wanted to move the Death Knight back if he saw the Demon Hunter uh, showing up. He loses all his ghouls though. And uh, it's, the Demon Hunter is gonna be. It's another staff. There is staff. He staffs just in time. <laughs> just barely, man. This Demon Hunter keeps surviving with like 17 hit points this time. Naga did go down though. Doesn't look good for uh, Foggy. In fact, I don't think he can defend this anymore. He d does he have Moon Juice? No. GG's out. Okay, what do we have here? We have uh, Ziggurat, we have Tomb of Relic Script, Altar. Uh, Foggy, interesting, going for the Ancient of War over here. Remember, Sonic went for the Ancient of War over there, but Sonic also went Warden. Do, what do we see here for uh, for Foggy? I assume Demon Hunter, yes. If he went Demon Hunter on last map, uh, he's going Demon Hunter on Twisted Meadows as well. Of course, uh, this is Twisted Meadows. And, uh, you know, I got some insider information. That Happy plays aggressive on Twisted Meadows, so that's going to be amazing to, to see, of course. Into the war, building some archers over here. This Wisp is uh, pulling out the creeps so he can buy... Cannot buy anything yet. So it can creep one on the right back. Uh, if you do this, you don't get any hurl boulders. For some reason, the AI doesn't throw boulders after he is debated by a wisp. I guess he was he's still thinking about the wisp. That's probably what's happening. The demon hunter shows up. Archer uh, running for a life. Into the vortex. Love damage. Can the ghoul get the last hit? Can he steal items? Demon hunter death does take the last hit. Oh, when the ghoul gets a potion of greater mana. Typical happy play here. Such a thief. Does he get this? Ogre. No, the demon hunter did get XP. 
Definitely, I didn't steal any XP, but the potion of greater mana is gonna be so huge. It's gonna be so big. And uh, yeah, he still doesn't steal anything. He does uh, give the potion of greater mana to the demon hunter. And this guy, this wisp under attack. We have no coils because he got the aura first, and the ghoul gets a wisp. I guess surprise attack by the ghoul. Foggy didn't see the ghoul coming, though we do have level two demon hunter. 25 XP now for the death knight, of course, that one wisp. This angel of war sits down. And uh, this first little shadow priest in a bit of trouble. Although there's no coil. Dev Knight took a lot of damage himself. He stopped attacking this first little shadow priest. He could have probably killed it by now. He was just hugging him, not attacking him. There goes the archer. Dev Knight now running. He has the aura though, so. I mean, he shouldn't be in too much trouble. He's just going for the ancient boar with two skeletons and two. Uh, Going for the archer now. She will survive for now. There come the wisps to repair that ancient of war. What else can the death knight do? What else can he kill? This archer, she's hiding, but uh, oh no, dust! No dust on the death knight or on the ghoul. And that archer will survive. Easy peasy. The forest of shadow priest also survived. And he will finish this creep camp. And the death knight, he will always oh, creeping over here with some ghouls. He's gonna hit level 2 here. Easy. Easy level two. Get more ghouls. No graveyard going up yet. He attacked pretty late. But so did the uh, foggy. Just get, uh, one skeleton going for a moon wall. He's gonna expire. Here come the ghouls. So many ghouls. F can I count that many? <laughs> Seven ghouls and skeleton. And he's trying to surround this berserker. Does he get it though? A player's forces are he under attack. Does kind of almost get it. Can he get it? He does have the aura. Moves faster than a berserker. Did the demon hunter kill a ghoul? I'm not sure. He was hunting so down something. Maybe it was a skeleton. Oh, demon hunter is coming back. There's a coil on the ghoul. This berserker in trouble, but the uh, demon hunter wakes up the creeps. This, berser this berserker. Does he get the XP? He does get the XP for the berserker. The creeps didn't kill it. I mean, they weren't even attacking it. Let it alone. The skeleton. He leaves skeletons to tank the creeps, so the creeps. Uh, don't follow and kill his ghoul or something. And this death knight making sure this first little shadow priest dies. Nice block here with the death knight. But at this point just right click would be enough. Uh, this ghoul does die though. Players forces are under attack. And that first little shadow priest also dies. This ghoul takes a bit of damage here from the archers. Can he block the demon hunter and surround him? No he doesn't go for it. Maybe he was afraid of dying. Death knight might be able to though. Death knight has boots. Buy bought boots for the death knight. I wonder if that means he's going um, uh, Naga second, or he could still go Lich second. But the boots usually is for the Naga, and if he if he keeps playing this aggressively, I mean Naga is a more aggressive hero than Lich. He almost gets this round, gets mana burned for fifty. Hunter's Hall is going up this game. No Ancient of Wind. Again, he tries to surround the Demon Hunter. Does miss it again. He does have the Staff. So not much he can do. Do we see the Naga? There's the Naga. We're happy. Gives, it, gives her the boots, of course. Demon Hunter. Buying time for what? Is he getting, What hero is? Uh, do we see for Foggy? Big question here, of course. It's gonna be the panda or the naga. I think in the past it's like if you see the undead go naga, counter with naga. But uh, nowadays, night of players realize that uh, you can just defend with the panda. Naga is a bit safer. What are these two ancient of lores? I mean, let's see, I only had two archers, so he lost He lost quite a bit early game. So maybe he, he thought he couldn't defend with the panda. Of course, that's something to consider. Meanwhile, over here, uh, we see Happy going to Black Citadel. Okay, just buying time for his Angel of Lords to go up. Easy peasy. Needs wisps, just... Sitting in the trees. Oh, they're moving to a safer location. The archers. Oh, the Ace of Lords. Can he cancel one, actually? 
It is daytime. He does see them now. He sees the piggy as well. And oh, what is this? A Naga going for a goal. It coils the goal. This one. Oh, is it? No, he doesn't go for it. I think he could have cancelled one. He's too late now, I think. The Wisp already in position. He wants that Demon Hunter. Doesn't want to let the Demon Hunter mana burn his Naga. Or his anything, really. But he missed his opportunity. I think he should have just right clicked that Angel of Lore. And just taken a mana burner too. But okay, well, Happy is of course a better player than me. This uh, Demon Hunter does stop out. Doing some mood use. Both these Nagas with the boots, but this Naga not only has the boots, she also has the Unholy Aura. Does hit that Naga, but I think she's gonna get away nevertheless. And we have some Dryads now. It's getting abolished magic and Druid of the Claw adapt training. Meanwhile, over here. Uh, no sacrificial pit, by the way. Makes a lot of sense. He's going this third. Usually you don't see uh, Phosphorus if you have the Naga. And uh, yeah, we don't see Phosphorus this game yet either. Maybe maybe late game we'll see Phosphorus. But uh, yeah, there's no Tinker. It's a Death Knight Naga Lich. The demon under killing some units here. Uh, Belt of Giant Strength, not useless, not bad. You do keep it. Not as good as a, like a rune bracers. But uh, you know, I think it's better probably than a mana item for your Naga. Ancient of Wonders going up. Oh, we had the Tree of Life here. Totally missed that. Sure, I'll show it right now. That's a Tree of Life. Almost up here. And he's going to kill some creepies. We, over here we see uh, Happy Creeping. It's Death Knight level 3. Gives a rope of the Magi to the Naga. Of course, uh, she's happy with that. Coil on the Wisp. No Detonate. Wonder if he keeps his items on the Naga or will give it to the Lich. Naga attacks faster at level 2, I believe, than a Lich at level 1. I think. I'm not 100% sure about that. But uh, the thing is, the uh, orb will be on the Lich. Also the mana. I feel like mana is more relevant on the Lich. Fork Lightning against uh, Nova. I think Nova is more important. He has a parry up as well. Over 1k hit points here. So he can do... Uh, he's not really afraid of dying. He has his staff. Mana burn harass here would be nice. It's always nice. Meanwhile, the Naga over here is going to creep to level 3. Expansion is up. He should uproot the expansion. He's losing valuable time here. Just sitting. Sitting, doing nothing. The uh, Ogre's... The Golem is dead. A second potion of greater mana. What a nice item. These are the items you want against, uh, against, uh, against Night Elf. Against the Night Elf that goes Demon Hunter. Coil Nova. And he staffs out easy peasy, you know. And if he didn't have one of these items, he would have died there. Of course, if he didn't have those items, he would have probably not played as uh, reckless there with the Demon Hunter. But just saying. Thank to, thanks to these items, these extra hit points items. He was able to get an, uh, probably an extra mana burn off there. Demon Hunter takes a bit of damage here by the ghouls. One ghoul dead. Uh, these ghouls, they don't stand much of a chance against... It. Oh, nice! Coil Nova on this uh, Demon Hunter. He's solo on hit points now. He's still going back in the fight. He knows there's... Okay, TP's out. Fort Lightning. Naga in trouble. Coil! Oh, he touched the Coil with the Info Potion. Expansion did move over. Did sit down. And over here we have bears. Bears are beautiful. Demon Hunter heals back up. Naga as well. Happy going for this creep camp. He, he did go for Frost Worms, just, you know, not the normal Frost Worm timing uh, that we see with the Death Knight Lich Tinker. There's a Demon Hunter Mana Burn there on the Lich. What item did he get, by the way? He got a... Oh, that's a nice one. Amulet of Spell Shield totally works against the Mana Burn. And uh, I... I do think he can proc it with the abolished magic though. 
I'm not 100% sure. Actually, maybe not. Actually, I don't think you can abolish... Can you? Negative spell. I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's TP out. It says, blocks a negative spell that the enemy casts on, on the hero. Is a bot's magic a negative spell? I guess he could proc it with the forked lightning. Just, uh, uh, does it work on forked arrow? <laughs> frozen arrow, I mean, cold arrow. I don't think so. I think uh, frozen arrow isn't casted on the target, is it? I'm not sure if it is. I feel like it just stuck, uh, you know, it's like a buff on the Naga, kind of. I'm not sure. Anyway, probably these players know. And, uh, so if you can first proc this amulet of spell shield, then you can mana burn him still. That would be nice. Abolish is not negative, it is neutral. I wonder the same about the arrow. Cold arrow is not a spell. I mean, it is a spell technically, right? Like, fairy dragons do do damage to the naga when she casts it. In that sense, it is a spell, but... Yeah, I don't think it targets the target. I would say the hero isn't even the target, but the spell itself. You can dispel her juve from Dwight's as well. You can dispel her juve from Dwight's? I don't think so. I've never seen that. This Death Knight is almost level 4. The Lich is almost level 3. The Naga is level 3. Do you hunter level 4? Naga level 3. There's a nice roar. We have a uh, beautiful fight. 58 supply against 60. We have an expansion here for Happy going up. How many hippos? By the way, he did go for hippos again. Uh, we see double Ancient of Hippo. We only have two fiends. I think the hippo is going to defend here. Although he doesn't have the panda. For lining Nova on these hippos. It's level 2 Nova and level 2 for gliding. I wonder if that's enough to kill the hippos. We do not have healing scrolls here for Foggy. One of the hippos gets caught. It's just a, f just a battle of the hippos really. Can he get the hippos? And over there on the... Oh look at that. Look at all the hippos just dying to the uh, to the other nukes. We have one more fork lightning as well. Does he use it here on the hippos? There it is. The hippos are pretty much all dead. And Foggy cannot defend without hippos here. This bear just uh, unfortunately walking on the right side of the tree line. He does die. But he did mana burn the death knight. He's out of mana. Uh, that means he did proc this amulet of spell shield earlier. Maybe with the mana burn. Maybe with something else. There's a... Or was that... No, that wasn't the proc, I think. Uh, anyway, most of these heroes are kind of out of mana. He did use his greater mana potion, or both of them, I think, even already. Yeah, bo both of his uh, greater healing potions have been used. The Moonwell goes down the uh, Frost Room, you know. He's so powerful when there's no, not enough hippos. But there's only one fiend, really. So if you can just remake some hippos... This is a bear, super long hit points. It almost dies there. Nice fork lining here by Foggy. The Death Knight's Amulet of Spell Shield has been, uh, is, is, you know, is active again. So the Mana Burn is not going to do shit. Uh, he's still running away from the uh, Demon Hunter. There is a Mana Burn for zero. Look at this Spell Shield, so powerful. But the Frost Worm is, uh, in the meantime, does taking a lot of damage. Happy doesn't need to win here, right? He, ha he has his expansion up and running. So, Foggy thinks Happy needs to win here. Happy Happy doesn't need to win here. He just, you know, he just needs to have, do a good fight. This Hippo against the Frostworm. Meanwhile, the Fiend here is about to die. The Frostworm won against the, the Hippo. The Naga in trouble, he has a, or she has an Info Potion. And there goes another Archer. And she used the Info Potion. And there's another Frostworm. Happy in... Well, let's see. Is he in trouble? Can he get one of these heroes? Gonna buy something? Maybe Heal Scroll? Maybe... Info potion, maybe both. Okay, this death knight killing a dryad here. Uh, Foggy's losing this fight and the game. He doesn't realize there's an expansion up for Foggy uh, for Happy. He cannot throw away units freely. This fiend, you know. There's a one more coil. Does he save the fiend? Or does he keep it for something else? No, he doesn't save the fiend. Guess he. Uh, 
think there was just a mistake. Yeah, even Happy makes a mistake now and then. I'll well, use it now in the first room. I guess now he can use it, but he buys two mana potions. I think saving the fiend was definitely worth the coil. Oh, but this fiend is dead. Demon Hunter finds it. I guess he scouted it with his bear somehow. And uh, the shade is scouting as well. Happy is up in supply. Uh, but there are hippos. How many hippos do we have? Two hippos. Hi hippos are very supply cost efficient. Supply efficient. So uh, even though Happy is down in supply, doesn't mean he's, he's losing the game. I mean, he's only down by, f by a little bit in supply anyway. Well, eight, eight in supply. But the fact that uh, it's equal basis, that does mean that Happy is doing great, of course. Doesn't mean he's winning. Like, look at this. We have uh, four hippos with no fiends. No fiends. This is his first fiend. I think Happy shouldn't even uh, attack here. I guess he was maybe overconfident. There's another mana burn. It's hard to say now, of course, for me. One fiend. He's getting a second fiend. He's bare. I mean, he's, he's beautiful. We have uh, six hippos now. Six hippos. Okay, great. This, this uh, Naga almost level four. Death Knight is level four. And Happy is just, he doesn't want to give time for uh, Foggy to get enough hippos to win the game. So he just keeps fighting. He just keeps being aggressive. Just like Splick said, Happy just playing so aggressive on Twisted Meadows, going for this hippo building. Another hippo spawns. The hippos, by the way, are 1-0 uh, upgraded. The Frost Worms and the, dry, uh, and the Fiends 0-0. Zero, zero. There goes a hippo. Okay, do we have... There's a fork lining. Uh, Nova was probably used at some point as well, because, you know, he has mana for another Nova. Doesn't use it just yet. There... He just used Nova. A lot of hippos dying. One Frost Worm went down, by the way. He's down to one Frost Worm. And uh, these hippos are dying. But, you know, there's still enough hippos. Well, there's two hippos. But uh, there's still enough for the Frost Worms to, you know, three hippos now to worry about them. And this hippo, is he going down? A nice mana burn there on the Death Knight. Level 5 Demon Hunter now. Death Knight is only level 4.6 or something. The Demon Hunter, uh, you know, did he take some nuke? He did, okay. Well, he still has so much hit points and he has the Rune Bracers as well. He's he's not dying any anytime soon. That's why he's going for the Naga instead. The Naga has evasion though. This uh, Lich, does he have an Info Potion? No Info Potion. Where's, okay, he did give a coil to the Lich. Oh, he gives the Info Potion from the Naga. And he gets used the Info Potion. Demon Hunter staffed out. But I even without the Demon Hunter, maybe he can win this fight. I mean, there's no... Fiends left. Hippos and Dryads. Okay, the bear does go down though. And Demon Hunter is back. Death Knight does TP out. And the Lich in trouble. Lich survives. Easy peasy. What do we have here, by the way? A bear? Oh, I missed this. A bear killed all the Acolytes. Even though it was slowed and uh, there's a Spirit Tower. <laughs> I guess there's not enough defense. Yeah. Maybe you need the Necropolis here as well. And uh, see if you can block it off completely with two ziggurats. I don't think you can. Well, maybe you can. I, I think you can. With the Necropolis, two ziggurats. Of course, it's 255 gold. But at least that bear doesn't kill all your acolytes. At least he had five more acolytes because his main was out of gold. So, you know, that's not that big of a deal. But where's the Tree of Eternity? Here he is. Okay, never mind. He's still sitting there in the main. Of course, even if he blocks it, you know, the Zeppelin with the bear in it could still kill all the acolytes. But now, then at least he can micro the acolytes our way, the other side of the wall. Yeah, I think walling it off would be nice, but not sure if it's worth the 255 gold on the Necropolis. 
This uh, fiend takes a coil. This fiend, you know, these, these bears killing the... What are these the hippos doing? He doesn't have enough hippos really to engage here. Foggy, is it now oh, Foggy over committing? One of the are attacking bears. It's uh, not good for night elf. There's Nova on the... Uh, yeah, all the hippos are going down. Frost worms, one is attacking the demon hunter. But they can just uh, kill, kill the bears now. Well, or they're still going for the demon hunter, I guess. Staffing out the demon hunter would be amazing. The mana burn there on the death knight. But he's, he has a potion of mana. And his uh, spell shield is now active again. I'm like the spell shield. Demon Hunter still has 525 hit points, plenty of hit points with the Rune Bracers and Healing Potion even. Abomination Eden by the Lich. He has mana for Nova now. Is he gonna use it? That's my question. And then, uh, do we get an answer? Do we get that answer or not? Mana burns the Death Knight. Huh. Was there another mana burn in the meantime or did he did he do something against that Amulet of Spell Shield? Death Knight is zero mana. The Demon Hunter does retreat. All these heroes, all these units so low. Can he pick off some more units on the retreat here? One bear, this other bear, can he, st I mean, he could stop it, but now the Naga in trouble. Why is the Naga still here? Hello. There's nothing to save the Naga. The Naga is dead, right? Can the Fossil get the attack in? Naga with boots still being hunted down by Fossil Rooms with level 3 and uh, level 2 in Holy Aura. Who moves faster? Fossil Rooms with level 2 in Holy Aura or the Naga? It seems the Naga, uh, it seems the movement speed was around the same. Interesting. We can do math maybe after the stream or maybe, I mean, after the game. Maybe you guys in chat. Can uh, no. This expansion up and running. What was the Tree of Eternity doing? Just sitting. Okay, he's not going for this expansion. Naga here's level five. Definitely level five. Lich level four and a half. Naga here level four point uh, seven or so. Here come two hippos, but that's not enough hippos. If there's no hippos, not enough hippos, the false worms remain supreme. That's what we're seeing here. There was an 81 mana burn. And it does seem like Foggy is, uh, yeah, look at the supply, 38 against 65. It does seem like he lost his, with this attack over here. I'm not sure why he attacked over there. It seems like, you know, such a bad attack. The Demon Hunter is staffed out. Was it overconfidence or was it desperation? Did he feel like he was behind? And he needed to do well over there? Or was it that he felt like he was ahead and he could fight over there? I mean... Demon Hunter is level 5. Naga is level 5. GG. Fourth game here between uh, Foggy and Happy. On this beautiful map. I forgot the name, but it's a beautiful uh, map. It's, uh, wait, this Nomad Isles? Oh, are you kidding me? My memory is insane. Nomad, Nomad Isles. We're going for Altar, we're going for Crypt. Here we have a uh, Demon Hunter again. No, Warden! It's Warden time. A Warden here for Foggy. And um, he's building wisps. Over here we have a death knight and some ghouls. And this ghoul, uh, this acolyte creep uh, scouting. Does he build more ghouls? There's another ghoul, third ghoul. This acolyte scouts the correct way, but of course Foggy now knows. Seeing this acolyte coming from the left side, Foggy knows. Oh, Happy's on the left side of the map. This is a three-player map, by the way. Because the other base over here. This is like the only three-player map in any of the map pools at the moment. Don't remember any other three-player map ever being uh, played. In cups, etc. Maybe there was one, but I don't remember. Sporden finished off this null. Maybe pick up the tome. No, she's going for the uh, acolyte. What is this? We see some ping. Uh, they don't have backpack yet. Is he getting backpack? Of course he's getting backpack. To steal some more items. There's tome of agility picked up by the warden. That's a dead null. And what are these ghouls doing? Here they are. Oh, he buy the first soul shadow priest, but it takes so much damage from the creeps. Can the cra Okay, healing moon juice heals it. 
These, uh, these creeps attacking the ancient war still. Finally, they back off. Here comes Happy. Going for the Forest of Shadow Priest. Coil on the ghoul. He's still alive. It's cool. Oh, one ghoul got uh, laughed at. Nice detonate there on the skeletons. These two ghouls going for this. Oh, one ghoul goes down. This other ghoul still alive. Do we have more mana for coils? There's a coil. And we have a bunny as well. We have a lot of bunnies over here. Death Knight still 0 XP. Didn't kill anything. The Warden is almost level 2. Well, this is a beautiful chase here. Can she get the ghoul? Is she going for the ghoul? Can she get the Death Knight? She cannot get the Death Knight. But she can do a little bit of damage to the Death Knight. Meanwhile, this Ancient of War walked all the way over here. It's did the same. No, it's different. <laughs> different Ancient of War walked all the way over here. And keep that now with the Archer and the Forceful Shadow Priest. The Warden is going to be level 2 here in a moment. There she is, level 2. Uh, Lord Knight Sorrow still 0 XP. Let's see if she can steal this creep. 0 XP on the Death Knight. And this is going to be 48. <laughs> Picks up the Tome of IQ. Uh, the Warden isn't going to kill one of these. Oh, never mind. She did steal one of the level 1s. I was about to say she's not going to try to steal one of those level 1s. Because uh, it's only 20 XP. You do lose that 75 mana. But I guess, you know, he thinks it's worth it. It's of course a difference of 40 XP. Because the Death Knight gains 20 XP less. The Warden gains 20 XP. Okay, he's gonna creep this. The warden being here is so annoying. But, uh, you know, the archers, they don't have any heroes around. They can creep whatever. Okay, the death knight coiled the, the one. The other one was killed by the ghouls, of course. Can she kill the vile temptress? Temp temptress. So the 366, death knight, death knight gets it. <laughs> uh, does he pick up the one of illusion? Does the ghoul die? So many questions. Do we get any answers? The ghoul is slowly dying, but I th he might survive here. I think he's going to survive even without a coil. But this ghoul is dead. Is this ghoul going to survive? 24, 14. Yeah, he survives. You over here, of course, he's creeping. Ancient War, uh, is he going to be just fine or does he need a wisp? I think he needs some wisps. Where are the wisps? No wisp close by. This Ancient War dying. Oh, he does get away. He takes some damage here with the creeps. Uh, not creeps, the mercenary and the warden staffs in. Where's the warden? Is she drinks some moon juice. She's gonna help out, I think. At least pick up the items. I'm not sure how much she's gonna help because she's level three now. She doesn't really do the dirty work of creeping, but now, now she does a little bit of creeping. And she kills this turtle. Does she see the talisman of evasion? She does. Okay. Wait. She TP'd home. Wait. She TP'd home, not the staff. What? She doesn't have a staff. She doesn't have a TP anymore. Okay, I didn't... Okay, wait, what? Okay. That's fine. That's fine. The Death Knight here creeping this creep camp. What item does he get here? Probably another... Uh... No, I think this time we will get the Sentry Wards. But we'll see what he gets. I think it's Sentry Wards. A Replenishment Potion. Okay, not really the best item there. You might keep it though. Warden here, she's uh, creeping to level 4. Not sure, she probably hasn't picked Blink yet. She's killing the Renegade Wizard. Hello, fake Death Knight. And she kills it. There's another circlet. That's nice. That's the item you want on a Warden. Circlets is so powerful. Ancient of Lures. Uh, hello. 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 Next is Chaco teaching how to make his famous pineapple ham recipe. That's gonna be on the IRL cooking stream. Oh, here comes the Death Knight with ghouls, by the way. Three ghouls, two skeletons. And, uh, you know, this ghoul taking a lot of damage. Coil on the ghoul. This fake Death Knight taking care of this Ancient of War. With this fake sword. Look at him. 
Okay, this angel ward taking so much damage. What do we see here, by the way? Uh, no second hero yet. Wait, do we have a second hero? There's a second hero. Just I was just testing you guys. There's a second hero. He's going fiends. He's going um, statues, of course. Death Knight creeping a little bit. Warden uh, using a replenishment potion. Interesting. What well, does he get? Another replenishment potion. Two of them is a bit much. He sells one of them. And he finishes this creep camp. There goes the turtle. That's a nice kill. We have a scroll of the beast now for the warden. Is he gonna sell it? Lich doesn't have the orb yet. Is he buying one? He buys an orb of corruption here. He sells his uh, dust even. Just to get this orb a bit faster. He needs that orb. And as long as he doesn't have this orb, this death knight just waiting here. You were over here. What item did we get? Oh, we didn't get the item yet. He's gonna creep his creep game right now. Green Drake here. Wait, this is like. I thought it was a black Drake over here. Is it like a different Drake? I'm not sure if there's a difference between the Drakes. This Archer here, is she dying? Yes, she dies. Nice uh, shot, Mr. Drake. Skeletons also are down. Level of 8 Dark Wizard is uh, taking a lot of damage. Another Archer goes down. These creeps are so powerful. It's foggy. Oh, and the bear is a sheep now. And uh, there goes the Drake and the level 8 Wizard. But he does get the best item. Scroll of Restoration is such a powerful super item, guys. It's so insanely strong. Restores 300 hit points and 150 mana to friendly non-mechanical units in the area surrounding the heroes. Hero. What do we get here? We have a sheep, first of all. It's a fiend sheep. The wizard here is... He's dead, guys. We have a, also the best item, Scroll of Restoration. What's happening in this game? And there's uh, a bronze drake over here. I didn't even know bronze drakes were in the game. Hello. Does he do the same damage as the other other one? Does he have the same armor, hit points? I have no idea. He is dead. Tome of Agility picked up by the Lich. A town is under siege. Death Knight is almost level 4. Well, orb here on the warden. 47 spy against 48. Two ancient wars defending and AP defending. Look at this defensive position here for uh, for Foggy. It doesn't have mana burn, so you know these engagements. Normally these are really good for a night elf because they can get a mana burn off or two. With the warden, if you don't kill anything. Nothing gained. Just a shadow strike, not killing anything is usually not worth it. I mean, it depends. She's almost level 5. Oh, she's level 5 now. And she does have to staff home because... Uh, no, one gold down, second gold down. Happy attack there. There was no warden. Yet, Foggy managed to kill a ghoul. <laughs> Again, now staff is on cooldown though. She doesn't care. Did she retrain to Fan of Knives? There is a Zeppelin in the air. And there's a Zeppelin over here as well. Happy going with the Zeppelin drop. Foggy going with the Warden drop in the base. And the Zeppelin already picks up the unit. The Warden will have to... Is she going to retreat? Walk all the way across the map. Because, uh, you know, the staff is a cooldown. Did they try to scout? They didn't scout this uh, Zeppelin. Apparently. He's Whisper here dying. While well, they're trying to repair this Ancient of uh, Goldmine. Uh, nice Nova, but Nova doesn't kill the Wisp yet. It's just a level uh, 2 Nova. Only kills the target of the Wisp. And this, this Lich, you know, is taking a lot of damage. There's a Coil. Where's that Warden? Warden is still so far away. And there goes Entangled Goldmine. A few ghouls do die though. And, uh, you know few wisps died a lot of wisps died in fact and we don't have hippos this game zeppelin can do whatever 
like fly over the water over the trees you know fly over over some more like he's fly flying over the beach like there's a very small beach I, I don't think there's a beach like this dirt is not really uh, beach dirt it's more like a shoreline thing and then they drop over here okay is the warden she's on her way back she's invisible this time she's definitely gonna kill a unit or two this time unless there's a shade there's no shade and let's see what she's gonna do let's see if she retrained to fan of knives or if she uh, she does have fan of knives she kills one acolyte two acolytes and someone is blinking ding, uh, yeah dinging ding, pinging over here there tree of life is going up the warden is hiding she does have you know her normal cloak warden can hide at night time how much gold was the night well he killed a lot of wisps as well it's hard to compare because now uh now foggy is denying gold but you know they're pretty even right now only a hundred difference of gold mind this tree of life is going down There's no way it's going up impossible impossible and it does get cancelled the warden here stops this uh berserker goes down the death knight tp's out this ghoul goes down dark ranger almost went down but she survived easy peasy and uh five acolytes here in the zeppelin great so the warden i don't think she's gonna do anything with uh, happy over here the warden is he is he going to get a panda maybe this is the time to get a panda and creep well happy is sitting in his base there's so many creeps still left on this map the warden is level five she doesn't get xp anymore from creep she's almost level six i think getting a panda right now uh won't delay the level six by that much let's see if he's gonna get a panda although now he sees uh, happy moving out of his base he might still okay maybe he changes his mind now i was like okay never mind maybe maybe it's time to fight maybe we're gonna fight a little bit more there's the expansion going up for uh, Foggy next to these bodies. Of course, level 1 panda is not something you want in a fight. So if he gets that panda, he wants to creep it immediately. Well, the, the warden tries to keep uh, Happy in defensive position. Doesn't seem he goes for the panda. It doesn't seem like he intends to go for a panda at all. Or any hero. He just wants his solo level 10 warden of course oh it's almost daytime warden better be careful he's killing creeps won't get xp but at least every creep can be kills cannot be crapped there by uh, by happy he gets a little bit of gold he could pick up this item later i don't think he will maybe he will get backpack no no back oh there's backpack he cancelled the wisp just so he can get backpack I mean, it's not that he wants the gloves of haste, but uh, he can sell it. 62 gold or so. Warden again. Because a crab coil there on the destroyer. Skeleton found the expansion. Uh, they're creeping more. Just, you know, killing. Oh, the warden in the base. Killed one acolyte. And uh, she stops out. I'm not sure. I don't think I like this solo warden play. If they're gonna creep so much, I think I would have liked the panda. Crap the panda to level three, and uh, or even go demon hunter second. That's fine as well. We've seen players do that as well. I think it was Jack. I've seen do do that. Just creep your demon hunter to level three, are under and maybe even higher level. He definitely had the time to do so. Foggy at 58 supply, Happy at 56. This bear, I mean, do, does he have staff? Does the bear have any items? No, he sold all the items. The bear goes down. Oh, this archer probably had the items. 
a lot of units dying here for uh, Foggy because, you know, there's no hippos this game. So destroyers just kill bears pretty fast. There, he used the skull, but, uh, you know, it's not going to win him this fight. We have still the skull available here for Happy, by the way. It also gives mana to destroyers, which is insane. But he doesn't need to use it. Oh, he used it right now. I was just uh, about to check if he had a scroll of healing, so he could use that instead. The warden dies. I feel like like this is just GG here. This is just like there's just nothing. Foggy just doesn't have a win condition here, especially after losing the warden, of course. This bear here is still alive. Okay, Foggy is staying in the game. He's gonna rebuy maybe the warden at some point. Hey, there's a red creep crab over here. I never knew that. A player's forces are under attack. Not on the bottom left. That's interesting. Can you get to this creep camp? Because there's a creep camp over there and creep camp over there, but none over there. So that's kind of weird. Anyway, GG. Uh, happy wins, of course. 3 to 1.